disrespect, man. But listen, the ladies is feeling it, then they gonna feel you. It makes it easier for you to get on if the ladies are having a good time. And in order to get ladies, make the ladies have a good time, the DJ gotta be on and helping them have a good time. I've been in many events with dudes that come up to me afterwards thanking me because they got put on because the, the ladies was having such a good time and they was just open. So that's how you do it. That's how you do, man. Trust me. So pay attention to your crowd, DJs. Yeah. <laughs> Cater to the ladies, man. The fellas, I ain't got no. The fellas is cool and all that, but it's all about them, man. You going you gonna go the way they go. The ladies are there. The fellas will come. If the ladies are having a good time. They open. The fellas are gonna come, and they ain't only gonna get open if you get them open. There you go. We got this little mini segment. It's called uh, Finish What I Started. Okay. So basically, I just say you start off a sentence and you finish it off for Let's do it. Okay, the first one is the state of hip hop today in general rap music it is. It's going through a cycle right now. Um, it's going through a cycle. Basically, and when I say that, I meaning, you know, when hip hop went through its phase one time when it was on New York and East Coast music, man, we had all these dance songs coming out, the Pee Wee dance, the Gucci dance, this dance, that dance. And we're going through that cycle again 20 years later now. We got the Soldier Boy doing his dance, the 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 thing with the get silly dance and all these other dances. We're just recycling, man, what we did. The only difference now is we're recycling it with a southern flavor. Before it was an East Coast flavor, now we're recycling it with a Southern flavor, and they're getting the push right now. So, hip hop is going through a cycle right now, and you know it, it'll come back, but that's where we're going right now. Yeah, that's how I see it too. I think. Okay, a DJ, a DJ to me is someone who should be a crowd motivator, uh, a party starter. Party finisher, uh, good at his craft. The DJ, somebody that's good at his craft and enjoys what he does. If you don't enjoy it, man, you shouldn't do it. But man, you gotta have a love for it. So, DJ, you should enjoy your craft, man. So, DJ is boom, all those things, man. Yeah, there you go. And the third one is when I was a kid. When I want to grow up, I mean, when I grow up, I want to be a uh, radio host, yeah. and, yeah. and I can't even sit here and complain or front or lie. Listen, when I was a kid, and I used to listen to the radio when I was eight, nine, ten, I wanted to be on the radio, and I was fortunate enough to be on the radio here in Boston, and I was even to another level fortunate enough to do morning radio in Boston which, you know, that's everybody's goal at one point in this business, man. You want to the pinnacle of the morning radio, and then I was there for, you know, over two years, three years, man, doing morning radio. So, a childhood dream of mine, man, I accomplished it. I'm not done. I got more dreams, but that was one of them, and, you know, I'm fortunate enough that I was able to do it, man, and I thank a lot of people, man, for giving me that chance, man. And, like I said, I ate humble pie. I'm still humble to this day. But, you know, and I, I just thank a lot of people for that, man. I was fortunate enough to do radio, period, in Boston. But just, I went through every avenue of radio in terms of mixed shows, weekend shows, afternoon drives, night drive, morning radio. I'm good. I ain't good. Um, straight. I hate. So you said you want to thank some people there. That, that brings us to basically our last segment. You got any shout outs or anything you want to? Um, I mean, I can shout out all people. kinds of people. Man, I could shout out. Could be here for years, huh? Yeah, we could be here, but man, I could start with some of my college cats, man. My boy Ray, Gooseby, my man Mike Smith was in New York doing his thing, man. I could, you know, go with the professionals, man. Um, Stephen Hill, who was one of the first to hire me, man, was over at BT, doing major things right now. Uh, my man Coach, who's like a brother to me, man. Uh, my man Will the Prophet, who's been I'm seeing for just as almost as long as I've been DJing and he's still doing his thing. Shout out to Uno. My man Uno. P 
people I grew up with, man. Streets that I grew up on, Weaver Ave, Dorchester, Cobden Square, man, uh, Mattapan, River Street, um, Dorchester, man. Just, I can go on and on, man. Shout to, you know, DJs who've been doing this just as long as me, man. I spoke to one of my boys today, my man Mo D. Mo um, D, yeah, what up, what up, Mo? Yeah, just, just all kinds of cats, man. I could be here for days giving shouts, man, but cats know where y'all, man. I, I got love for everybody, man. I see a lot of people, man. I run into a lot of cats all the time, man. And it's number love. You know, I got. I, I look. I'll give a shout out to a particular place, though. I, I got to give a shout out to my, my people on the vineyard, man, because those were some of my best parties, man, back in the day. And I still run into cats today, over ten years later. Talking about, they still remember some of the parties I threw on the vineyard, man. So, uh, and I always doubt I have a special place in my heart, man. I used to throw some banging parties over there. Cats know. Who's over at some of my parties on the venue? You know that the AC and the hot tin roof all went down. It was crazy. But shout out to the venue. Yeah, but that's 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 really it, man. Shout out to everybody, at Vine, man, who been you know listening to me when I was on ILD doing hip hop, man. You know, 88.9 is. I run into cats, man. I ran into a cat at a wedding yeah. six months ago who had CDs from 88.9. 20 years ago. I mean, that's just love, man. He had about eight CDs, man, he gave me. He's like, man, I just listen to you every... Him and his boy would run home to take the show on Saturdays. And you don't realize how much of an impact you were doing something at the time. It has. 20 years later, somebody to run up on you and tell you that, man. It's like, wow. And it's, I wanted the tapes because I wanted him from back in the day. You know what I mean? But just big shout out to everybody, man. Throughout the years, man, supported me and been coming to parties I've been doing, man, and and, and even you, man, DJ Vex, man, put yes, me down. Sir. The I show six one seven put me down, and you know, I enjoy doing this, man. It's a good outlet for me, man, because I don't really get too, too often to come out and explain or, or tell people some of the stuff I've been through or how I got up in the game. So it's a good look. I'm still in the beginning. We might have you on again as, as another special guest host. Uh, I'm, so. I'm listening. I can talk for days, man. I, I used to get paid for talking, so I, I, I'll come back and do it, man. I have a good time doing this, man. All right. Well, yo, that's the end right now, so thanks for coming through, Yo, team. anytime you need me come through, man, just holler at me. You know what I'm saying? You know where I'm at. And I even had you come to one of my spots one time, man. You got the footage, you know. Y'all yes, gonna sir. see it on the show, 617. That's right. The number one podcast. Y'all gotta check out the show. It's just off the hook, man. All right. Big shout out to y'all for having me here, man. I appreciate that, man, for real. All right. Shout out to all my DJs, too. No problem, cuz. Alright, y'all. We're out of here. That's another episode of the show. 617 Boston's Hip Hop Podcast. Peace.